All right, you guys have probably seen our Krauss Moto T-Bar setups on road glides and street glides before. Right now, we're gonna highlight the brand new release Moonshine Horsepower Wolf One Pro Kit with solid gauge mount exclusively from Moonshine Harley Davidson. So we're gonna contrast the Moonshine kit compared to the kit we went over in previous videos. Have them on two bikes behind me. Let's check them out. So on the brand new Moonshine Horsepower Wolf One kit, it is a solid gauge mount. So the reason we named it a solid gauge mount is this gauge pod can only be mounted right here. It's solid. You have no adjustment, there's no tilt. It is actually built in to the clamp of the handlebar. The reason we did that is because we needed to bring it lower and we needed it closer to you. You couldn't get the gauge all the way down out of the way of your radio and keep the gauges up front behind the bar. We can get them down but it still covers the bottom of the radio. I would say from about the line here underneath your mute button or right above your mute button is where the top of the gauges reside. So putting it on the handlebar mount and locking them in here, I now sitting on the bike have full visibility of both of my gauges and full visibility of the radio. Really clean setup. Looks a little different. Some guys love it, some aren't, but the functionality of it is great. From the rider's position, amazing look and then your gauges are front and center very easy for you to see very easy for your eye line to locate really clean really nice um, we've been working on this for a while with our our partners over there Krauss moto awesome guys you'll, you'll see this on their website when you click the link it will take you to our shopify so you can purchase or you can call us at the shop so now let's go over to the Krauss setup that is typically the one we were doing before this guy came out. So on the Krauss Wolf 1, same setup, same bars. So we're running Wolf 1 Pro Kits on both of these bikes. Both of these bikes have a 10 inch kickback. Okay, this one has a bracket bolted here. And when you have this bracket, there's a riser right here that goes to your gauge mount. That way you can tilt it, maneuver it. We maneuver this one so he can see his gauges as much as possible and the radio as much as possible. So it's a good compromise. I am seeing two thirds of my screen. I'm able to see from here up. From there down, I lose behind the gauges. Every rider is different. Some riders wanna see more of the radio. If that's you, the Moonshine Horsepower Wolf One Kit with solid gauge mount is the way to go. If you don't mind losing some of your radio, this is a better option. The gauges are tucked in. It might be a little cleaner look looking from this angle at your bike, but if you like the setup, don't want to sacrifice the visibility of the radio, new solution for you over here with the Moonshine Horsepower Wolf One setup. So two really nice, unique setups. Both of them are gonna come with the Triple Tree. All the Wolf One kits come from Krauss with the Wolf One Triple Tree. But we'll dive into the parts breakdown. They're right behind me, we'll grab them, we'll break down the item list in the package so you can see what you're getting and how it works together. Check that out. That's why we team up with Krauss Moto, American made company, awesome stuff. They're doing really cool stuff out there and we work very well together. So this is the Moonshine Horsepower solid gauge mount. I'm gonna do a full kit breakdown so you know what to expect in your kit if you get one of these. Solid gauge mount is going to do two things. It holds your gauges and it is your top bar clamp. So it does both. So if you look, it's gonna have eight bolts, eight stainless steel Allen bolts, and you're gonna take your, your face plate off. The face plate is held on with three bolts from the back side. So you're gonna mount the bottom without the face plate. Boom. We're gonna get your bars adjusted to your liking. Once you have your bars adjusted to your desired location, you're gonna lock it down. Torque it to factory Harley Davidson specs. Once you have it torqued to specs, you are then gonna put your gauge pod from Harley Davidson in its location. Boop. Make sure your wires come out of the hole right there with your plug. And then there's three little bolts, real easy, right on the back side. Three bolts, it's gonna lock down the front, that way your gauges are held in place. A Little bit more maintenance if you wanna get to your bars for adjustment, but it's nothing major. It's three bolts from the back side of the gauge mount, very easy to get to. And then you're gonna take your gauges forward 
and you're gonna get to your eight bolts that lock your handlebars down so you can reposition your bars when you need to. You're also gonna get an option for your kickback riser. These are only available in kickbacks. Because of the angle on the faceplate, we have to do a kickback. So you have an option for an eight inch, a 10 inch, or a 12 inch. Right here in my hand, this is a 10 inch set. So you have three options. We have multiple options on handlebars. We run these with a two and a half inch rise, and then you have an option to go with a four and a half inch ODI bar. So two really cool setups. Your fly bar is a straighter bar. Your ODI, this has a slightly angled back, just a touch angled back. So if you need a little bit more bend there in your bar, ODI is probably the way to go. ODI, four and a half inch rise, two and a half inch fly bar. Kits are available with both bars predominantly right now. We run the flies. Um, they seem to be a little bit more um, popular in the two and a half inch kit. We're also working on some other stuff. You're also getting a top triple tree just like the normal Wolf One kit from Krauss Moto. You get a top triple tree. You have options in either kit to do the, the machine version or black anodized. You want to change it up, do a little contrast look. Perfect. You got this. When you order in machine, Everything comes machine. You have an option for bar color, but your top triple tree, your riser, your clamps, and your gauge mount will all be machined. And if you order in black, the same thing. We're not mix matching kits, they come one way. Okay. Of course, one of the main reasons we love the Krauss Moto setup solid bushings. So you're getting a solid mount right here to the top of your triple tree with the bolt. Your bushing is still in the bar setup, but instead of it being down here and giving you 10 inches of leverage or more, depending on your bar setup, you now only have the leverage of the handlebar size you have because the bushings have been moved from the triple tree into the riser themselves. It's a more solid fuel. The front end's gonna feel better, it's gonna be crisper. Um, if you have a performance bagger, what a difference. If you have a high horsepower bike and you're taking off, you feel a difference. Hitting the brakes, you feel a difference. Big deal, it's something small, but makes a big feel difference for you as the rider while you're on your machine. Perch clamps, really nice. Billet aluminum perch clamps right from Krauss. It's got their logo on them. Of course, if you get the black version, these are what you're getting. If you get the machined version, they're gonna come in this color right here. And to top her all off, you get keys with your fork lock in your triple tree, and then your harness. You need to extend your harness because we're moving the gauges up from right on the top triple tree to on your handlebars. So you have a wire harness right from Krauss. Really, really nice setup. Plugs in just like factory. You have to do your pinning yourself to put them in the right locations in this guy. Very easy to do, nothing big. And then brand new product right from the boys. This is your Alpha Wolf One triple tree kit. So it's a complete kit with an upper and lower triple tree. So you could buy this in a kit, but if you buy the bar setup from us, which is the Moonshine Horsepower Wolf One Road Glide Solid Gauge Mount setup, you can buy just the lower triple tree to finish off in case you want both of them. What's cool is this is different than their KRT because it is gonna work with your factory fork. Okay, a little bit different setup, but you can get the same clean look from their KRT complete inverted front end with their lower triple tree with the new Alpha lower tree. So option to buy it by itself, option to get it in a full kit. So if you already have bars, you want to go to the next step and get a triple tree, it's now available. If you already have a Wolf One kit and you already have a triple tree on your bike, you can get just the lower tree, finish the look off of your Harley Davidson or of your Road Glide. Really, really trick. Also, they have thought about keeping your factory brake line set up, so if you're still running factory brakes, you got mounting options on the triple tree for the factory setup. Cool stuff from Krauss. Cool stuff in combination with Krauss and us. We're excited for you guys. We appreciate the support. If you like our channel, click subscribe. If you need a set, contact us. We got the whole horsepower team. You got Aaron Stottinger, Nick Zanola, Jamie Lima, or Michael Van Orden. Call us at the shop. Sometimes we are busy. Leave a message. We'll call you back or email us anytime. And at horsepower.moonshineharley.com. If you do send us an email, please put a description in what bike you have. That way we have it pulled up in front of us already and include a phone number so we can get a hold of you. Sometimes there's a little bit more information we need than available in the email or just emailing back and forth. It'll make it a lot quicker process for you being the consumer and us trying to get you the info that you're needing. 
with a phone number in there. If you're looking for a build or would like to get in contact with us, the easiest way to do it is to go to our website. Type in moonshineharley.com. Once again, moonshineharley.com. Go to our homepage. On the homepage, there's tabs at the top of the screen. The one in the middle says Performance Shop. When you highlight Performance Shop, a drop down will pop up. Click on the Moonshine Horsepower button. Basically, what we need to know is how to contact you. You need to fill out your name, your phone number, and then the bike. The more info you put on here, the more prepared we are when we call you. Your current engine, current parts on the bike, because we want to know what we can continue to use in the build you're looking for, or if you need everything. Um, what parts are going to be friendly to the build you're looking for. And then building goals, what are you looking for? What do you want us to accomplish with your bike? Put it in there. Also put the time frame, first available, you're three, four months out. Let us know how quickly you would like us to get to your build. And then hit that submit button, someone from our horsepower team will call you back. So it'll either be Aaron, Nick, myself, Jamie, or maybe MVO, Michael Van Orden. One of us four will call you back. Our schedule is Tuesday through Saturday. All the horsepower guys, Tuesday through Saturday. The shop is open seven days a week. And typically when you fill one of these out, it can be anywhere from 30 minutes to 48 hours to get back in contact with you, but we will. We appreciate the support. Please, if you haven't already, go to the subscribe button, click that guy. Also, you might wanna click on the bell for notifications. Let's you know when we have a live event coming up on YouTube. Also lets you know when we're about to drop a brand new video. We appreciate you guys watching. Thanks for all the support. Have a good one. All the performance, 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 all, 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 performance, all of them. Baggers, baggers, fast baggers, fast baggers. Slow baggers suck, suck.